Hello guys. We got a new survival game update today. I'm a little bit late with this video because I was in school. Watching some presentations. But now I'm here. There are no new badges, sadly. But let's hop in game. The game got a new thumbnail. Looks just like the old one, but with a fishing rod. Nice. Use fishing rods to catch fish. Dozens of kinds of fish to catch. You might end up catching some junk too. Use the fishmonger to turn fish into food. New fish meals to cook as well. Sounds nice, let's test it out. Just want to build a little fishing area here at the water. Behind my new storage. That was a spoiler for another video. Work in progress. But I've just unlocked the new fishmonger. There's a difference between this one and the one we got the leak of. The fish is run out, makes sense. I already know this menu. From the survival workshop test phase yesterday. I told you guys about this in my community tab. But yeah, so you convert your fish you catched into meat and then you make the meat back to fish. I don't know, doesn't make that much sense. Anyways, here you can craft your fishing rods. We are going to test out every single one off hem in this video. So let's test the bronze rod. I really like this minigum for fishing. Just click reel and keep the thing here in this box. And you get the fish as soon as this symbol is filled. I fished with this rod a few times. You can get materials and fish. You get pretty decent stuff with this fishing rod. And it is super easy as that box is really large. The fish isn't in any order in your inventory sadly. It jumps in the whole inventory all the time. That's pretty bad for finding it. The fishes definitely aren't made to hold them in your hand. It looks pretty bad. And depending on what fish you craft to meet, you get a different amount of it. So let's craft the iron fishing rod. And let's store all the fishing rods here in this chest. The box is still pretty big, nice. And an octopus, not bad. And this is tea loot I got from the iron rod fishing session. Pretty good to be honest. And it isn't that difficult to use that rod. Steer one is tea necks and nah, I don't like it. Bruh, its loot was a leaf. It's a steel rod, a leaf. Nah, just resources the whole time. What the hell? I need fish. Also, there are no new rebirth perks. We really need new ones. Because now I spent all of my tokens for inventory size upgrades. This is T loot from the steel rod. It is better than the previous loot, but still, I don't really like the steel one. And now we can talk. A blue steel fishing rod. And it is good. Wow, definitely my favorite so far. And its loot is good. I love this one. And here is tea loot from the blue steel farming session. Definitely my longest so far. And of course the best loot so far too. Now let's craft the obsidian fishing rod. The fishing rod's got no description. The whole update is a little bit rushed, but I like it. But nah, what the hell? The box is so fast and small. No chance to hit it. It's almost impossible. And now, I got a rope from it. Dude, it is obsidian, the strongest material in this game. But never mind. Just use the blue steel rod. It's the best in my opinion. See, I guess I just gonna farm a little bit. And after that, I'm going to take a look at the new food items.
and this is all the loot from the video, well, almost. I crafted some to meat at the very beginning. But let's see how much meat and fish I can get with all these sea animals. So let's grab all the catched fish and craft it to meat. By the way, how rare is it to catch a whale? I didn't catch one, obviously. A whale would give me 20 meat. So I got 339 meat from all that fish. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. I think it's even better than farming deers. Anyways, now I can craft the cooked fish. We don't need to farm it from sharks anymore. Now let's get some meat from my storage as I used all I had. For the cooked fish, let's craft meat hunk and we're good to go. have sushi. Let's go. I made 10 of them. And some spicy fish meal. 10 of them too. The models look good as always. But now let's eat it and see what buffs each food gives. Oh wow. If you eat sushi, you instantly get 15 health points more. That's pretty nice for combat and PvP. I gonna make a short or a video where I show you the best food combo for PvP soon. I gonna link it here on the top right as soon as it's out. And the spicy fish meal. It gives you 10 extra health with the 5% speed buff. Pretty nice too. But sushi is better, so that is it with the update. I know, it isn't that big but it is fun. The survival game had 4,500 concurrent players again. Even 5 hours after that update dropped. And this shows how good TSG is. Simple games just needs to make more updates. And they can increase their player base again. They even said that they are going to make more updates. For TSG soon. I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button and subscribe. If you don't want to miss out on future content. Bye.